Hi everyone, Tammy here. Welcome to my channel. I have another dolly trip I'm going to take you guys on. This one is for doll supplies. Um, there's only a couple of places close to me for any type of sewing or crafting supplies. That includes a Walmart and a Michaels. So I'm going to go to Walmart first. Um, they usually have, of course, Walmart's going to be a little less expensive than Michaels. And um, my Walmart has a very small selection of fat quarters and also uh, fabric by the yard whereas my Michaels has fat quarters but no fabric by the yard so I am involved in a couple of collaborations right now one of the collaborations that I'm in the midst of at this moment is with Marna at Dolls Rescued she and I are competing against each other again making a Blythe doll into a princess doll and this time it is Snow White and by dang it I want to beat her this time so I'm pulling out all the stops and some of that means I need to get a little bit of fabric so um, my fabric stash is pretty decent and I have almost enough for the competition that I'm doing the challenge but believe it or not I don't have a lot of dark kind of uh, fabric because it's not usually very doll friendly so I'm looking for um, some royal blue solid fabric for the snow white dress I just need a little bit. Hopefully I can just find a fat quarter pre-cut on that. And I also am looking for some sort of goth inspired fabric because Marna and J Dolls UK have a goth challenge that they're doing that they're inviting other creators to participate in. And of course I want to participate because I want to do I want to do all the crafts. <laughs> I want to do all the dolls and all the crafts. So I'm going to see about that. So what else? I mean, I have a list, but those are the biggies. Some fabric that is for my Snow White uh, competition, and then also some fabric, some goth-friendly fabric, and maybe trim. So we'll see what we'll see what Walmart has. If I have time, uh, I have to go through the um, I have to go through Walgreens and pick up a prescription. So we'll see how long that takes. If I have time, I'm going to you know zip by the toy section, but. I can't count I can't promise anything right now I'm really set on finishing my snow white competition I'm pretty close to locking that in so and like I said I am kind of pulling out all the stops so I really need to focus on that right now but yeah let's go let's go see what Walmart has in the fabric and crafting section which is pretty small gonna warn you we'll see if I get lucky in typical Walmart fashion, the first aisle I went down had an assortment of leftovers that were just kind of piled around, but that was redeemed when I saw the pre-cuts from Waverly. The first pre-cuts I found were solid color and then there were some patterns. Waverly is a pretty decent fabric and all of this is 100% cotton. Interestingly enough, there was some very large pieces of pre-cut felt not sure what I would do with that. Some burlap, which I no longer need, already did the burlap challenge. And then this segued into some one yard pre-cut fabric. Again, this is Waverly and these ran about $5. So I like them, the prints were pretty, but most of the prints were too large for the size dolls that I'm looking to sew for right now. As I moved down this particular aisle, it was nice to see that the fabric was starting to be a little bit more organized and I like how they had it uh, sectioned off per color. So that was really helpful when I was shopping. Of course, they also have fabric by the yard, but that means trying to find somebody to help you with uh, that. And that is not something easy to do in Walmart. I did finally find some royal blue fabric and that was nice to see. That was, I really have to say, I like the Waverly pre-cuts. I was impressed with that. Way to go, Walmart. Very nice to see this. I thought I was going to have to get the larger cut, the one yard cut of royal blue fabric. However, as I moved further down the aisle, I finally found a wonderful selection of fat quarters. And again, it's pretty messy here. <laughs> This is difficult to find stuff sometimes for me and it says it's starting at 97 cents So that means not all of these fabrics are 97 cents When I went to check out it seemed like the 97 cent fat quarters were The fat quarters that were just solid color and the patterned fat quarters ranged about a dollar 47 But double check that just be prepared if you go over there and go shopping 
And this was nice that I was able to get a fat quarter in royal blue and I ended up not having to buy an entire yard of it. So that was wonderful. Another big plus with purchasing fat quarters other than the small amount of fabric that you have, which goes a long way when you're sewing for dolls, is that fat quarters are often used by quilters and so very often you're going to find smaller patterns when it comes to the fabric. So this is the end of one side of the first aisle and then I move on to the next side of the aisle where there is again more fabric that I could buy by the yard. And as usual, we have quite a mess here. This place just isn't really kept up. You know, Walmart just doesn't have a lot of people working. There's always a skeleton crew in this particular Walmart where I work. So I guess this is why you get a bargain because you have to kind of dig around, which is not my favorite. However, the other side of this aisle does still have a lot of fabric, so that was encouraging. In fact, there was a very nice selection of decorator fabric for people who are working on home decor projects. And there was a surprising little area that had some really fun, little bit higher end fabric, some tulle, some sparkle mesh, and even some organza pre-cut. These were three yards, and yes, they were a little bit pricey, but this is pricier fabric. Lots of possibilities here with this. I was excited to see this. So I probably touched every piece of that tulle fabric, okay? So spoiler, you'll see some at the end of this video. Then we moved on to fleece. Um, yeah, I'm in Florida, but I guess they still sell fleece. And I do make fleece blankets that I donate, so it's good to see that they have that here. So how exciting, I was able to go down another aisle dedicated to sewing. Here are more things like Notions trim, some sewing machines. Um, I needed some thread too on this aisle, so, but I was looking for some trim, possibly something goth related, and I also needed some trim for my Snow White. Oh, and these are really cute. So up here we have some little flower trim. Usually you find this in the wedding section, but it was nice to see they had it over here by the ribbon. These are wonderful to add little adornments to your doll clothes, so it was nice to see these. Right past the ribbon was an area that had pre-cut and by the yard Disney fabric. Have to remember that. But I went back to the trim again and the ribbon because I was looking for some goth trim, you know, maybe some little black lace, but everything was kind of too big. I also was looking at the sparkly trim because I'm going to use something like that possibly in my Snow White challenge that I'm doing with Dolls Rescued. So obviously I'm onto another aisle here. This one has sewing notions and tools. I'm just kind of checking out the lay of the land to see what's going on here. As I was looking though, I remembered that I really could use some smaller elastic. I have one quarter inch elastic I've been using for making little uh, Blythe doll skirts, but one eighth inch elastic would be much better. So um, yeah, I definitely had to put that in my cart, but I also checked out their buttons. They had a nice little selection of buttons and I think, oh, that's right. I was also trying to find if they had any fray check, which I did not see here. Maybe I moved past it, but I ended up buying that off of Amazon. So yeah, they have a lot of little trims. Again, I was looking for something goth, but did not have a lot of success with that. This last bit of the aisle, they have sort of merged with their crochet and embroidery section. They also had a small selection of McCall's patterns called It's So Simple, and you can see here they had some for the larger 18 inch dolls. I went back to this area and also got some thread and yeah then I pretty much headed home. I was going to go by the toy aisle but I thought I better just get home. It was actually raining and getting really stormy out so I figured I better head for the car while I could. All right guys I'm back. Um, Hubby's still working on lunch so I figured I'd go ahead and show you what I got. He's the cook in our family. All right I got some of this really cool looking tool. It's three yards um, I like to use tool for hair ornaments for um, Blythe dolls. I just, or even other dolls too, you just cut a strip out and then tie it around their hair. Um, but I have plans to use this for uh, one of the collaboration challenges I'm doing. And um, I don't want to tell you what it is because it'll ruin the surprise, but just trust me, you'll see this again sometime. As well as this uh, fabric here, probably this is going to be what I use with this. But I saw these little fat quarters. These are Waverly inspired. Um, I like these because they have 
This is kind of a large print, but the rest of them have pretty small prints on them, so they will work well with dolls. And in particular, this sort of remind, I, I just like how this looks kind of textury looking. So, yes. Don't want to give too much away, but um, yes. This is going to be part of uh, a collaboration challenge I'm doing. Hee hee hee. Um, I found some fat quarters I really like, so I've got these. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. It's kind of big for a doll. I was kind of thinking, eh, it's kind of big. But for bigger dolls, I could... I could use these for smart dolls. I could use this for 18 inch dolls for sure. And I just, it was, um, now I will say, I thought these were 97 cents. They have a sign there. This is 97 cents, but the solid color ones are 97 cents. These are $1.47. Still not bad for a fat quarter. And then I just got this cause I liked it. Look how cute that is. A little peace sign. Peace craft love dolls has to have peace sign. I've been actually looking for rainbow peace fabric like forever. I probably should have gotten two of these, but um, I will say overall I was pretty impressed with the fabric selection. Um, I think I have not been there since before the pandemic, and I think my local Walmart has kind of, you know, stepped it up a notch over there in the fabrics. That was really nice to see. It was pretty messy and unorganized, which bugs me a little bit because I don't like shopping with in messy places, but um, not dirty, just unorganized. That that's just a pet peeve of mine. I used to work in retail years ago when I was in college and I like things neat in a store. But so this will this might work this might be something I use for a goth challenge or I could use this. You'll see. I know it's not necessarily this isn't necessarily gothic, but this like I said I needed this for the um, Snow White Challenge. That's going to be June 15th, by the way, so make sure you uh, mark your calendars for that. And this is also going to be part of the Snow White outfit. So I got that. Everything else I have already in my stash for that. I needed some black thread, so this is a good... They have pretty decent prices. Thread is so expensive these days, it's not even funny. And you can see this. This is... Between this... And this, everything in my bag is sparkly. I, I also bought my husband some socks, and now they have sparkles on them. So, this is a whole yard. Um, again, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it, but um, I really liked the pattern. And I could use the smaller, you know, areas like this for dolls, but even something like this might fit on a, uh, on a skirt for a blouse. I'll have to see how that goes. And let's see, what did I end up paying? This was, no, I think this was $4.94. So this is about $5. So um, a yard, $5 a yard, that's a very decent price, honestly. That's kind of an amazing price, honestly. A whole yard of fabric for cotton. Um, so yeah, I do need to wash that. I need to wash a lot of these because even though I don't have to worry about, you know, it's shrinking necessarily because I don't wash doll clothes a lot. Um, darker colored fabric you definitely want to wash so it doesn't stain your dolls. I got some 1 8 inch uh, elastic. I have a lot of 1 quarter inch elastic but 1 8 is actually better if I make uh, small um, items for dolls like uh, little simple skirts and stuff like that. So I went ahead. This was like 97 cents so I got that. I got some white paint for something. I just have something around the house I need to touch up so I'm going to just fake it with some white paint <laughs> that's doll unrelated to dolls so so yeah um so this is the snow white this is probably goth challengey maybe this i don't know and like i said this is for um i will i'll just say this is also possibly going to be part of my snow white challenge so i don't want to give any more away than that <laughs> But definitely keep an eye on my channel and also Dolls Rescued for that. And like I said, Dolls Rescued and J Dolls UK is doing the, the goth challenge. They're challenging each other, but they're asking um, YouTube creators and other creators to just jump in if you want to. And the same with uh, Snow White. Um, uh, we are going to be doing a challenge between Dolls uh, Rescue and myself, Peacecraft Love Dolls. However... Uh, we're asking people to jump in and join us if you want to. So um, so you do have time. That challenge is June, uh, like I said, June 15th, I believe. 
or is it 14th? I can't remember now. Um, I'll put it, I'll put something in the comments. I'll put a little text here or something to give you the right date. And I don't remember when the goth challenge is, so you need to check on Dolls, uh, Dolls Rescue and Dolls UK for that. But yeah, not too bad. I spent, um, I think I spent a little over $20 for all this. So yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with what I got. Thank you guys for stopping by and uh, let me know which of these fabrics is your favorite. What do you think about these? Do you think this is something I could use for dolls? Um, yeah, give me some, uh, give me some feedback in the comments below and, uh, yeah, have a wonderful dolly day. Bye-bye.